It's Manby back with another video and today before we get started I am curious to what your favorite returning Pokemon that you've seen so far in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailers um, that you're most excited about coming back. For me that is Breloom. I love Breloom a lot. I'm really happy that it was in the trailer which means we finally get to use it. We didn't get to use it in Pokemon Sword and Shield which I think it would have been pretty good in Pokemon Sword and Shield despite being weak to max Airstream. It would have probably held the Focus Sash item. Actually, it's probably going to hold the Focus Sash item again. Anyway, yeah, so let me know in the comments what your favorite returning Pokemon is so far. We'll do maybe another video about uh, new Pokemon. But yeah, today uh, I made the, I just threw this team together, and yeah, I don't feel really good about it. Um, and by that I mean I don't feel good for my opponents, and I don't feel good for myself. So yeah, we're just going to wing it, and yeah, <laughs> this team's crazy. The, okay, yeah, we got Stone Journer is the big thing here. But anyway, let's go ahead and do it. I'll see you guys when we find our opponent. Alright, rank 729. Alright, so we do have the deal with Grimstarl here. So what I would like to do is go Urshifu and Whimsigod. The only problem is Rillaboom might be really annoying here, but I do have Kiram if that ends up being a problem. So we can kind of rely on that. Now, I can also go Calyrex here as well, I think. Because I think we want it. Stone Journer seems so good for the wide guard, though. God. Um, the one problem I see here... Should I just go Kiram in the beginning? So what do they beat? How do they beat Kiram? Maybe I don't leave Whimsicott here. I go Kiram, and then something else with pressure. Um, oop. Oh god, I'm gonna run out of time here. Maybe I go with something else with pressure, like... I don't know, stop. What if I go Stone Turner? That does do a lot of pressure. Now, Whimsicott and what? Calyrex? This seems really bad. I would like the Water Pokemon if I can. Um, alright. Well, we're gonna figure this out. <laughs> this seems really bad, actually. But we're, we're committed now. Oh well. God, Grimstar was just so stupid. Don't make bulky Pokemon with Prankster. That's just wrong. It's just wrong. It's, it's mere existence is wrong. It's too bulky. It's too bulky to have the best ability. One of the best abilities in the game. That's the that's the problem. Alright. It's also got one of the best typings in the game. Dark Fairy. Um, Calyrex. In Grim Style. Alright. So they're going to do something toxic. That's for sure. Oh wait. I have Stone Burner. Okay. I mean, that's fine. The only thing is... Hmm. I would love to max Hailstorm here. That's what I would love to do. Oh god, I'm on Freeze Dry though. It's unlucky. But I do have the Stone Journer power boost, so that is a thing. Max Quake's not gonna do a whole lot, unfortunately. Um I guess I go for it anyway. I don't know what they're gonna do. Yeah, this is... I don't know, we'll see. If they just click a screen, I'm annoyed. They might click Protect here on Calyrex. I don't know, we'll see what they go for. Stone Drunner's in a good spot here, because I can just keep spamming Wide Guard. But Dynamaxing turn 1 doesn't seem like the play, but... Especially when I can't really hit any of their Pokemon for anything relevant. But I do have the Power Swap spot, so that's nice. Just get Stone Drunner in. Click wide guard. Even if it, we lose the game, we're still we're still doing stuff. We're still happy. I'm also breaking my focus ash here, which isn't ideal, but that's how it be. Um, the good news is, oh no, wide guard probably just goes before prankster. Um, yep, they actually go for a fake out. So I already got the wide guard off. So this is really good if we can get the KO. Astro Barrage obviously not going to hit either of us, so that's really good. Not only that, but not only did I break Stone Journer's focus sash. But I broke Calyrex's potential focus sash here. Now, if this actually dies, we're in a good spot. And it does. That's the power spot power, baby. That's why I wanted to delete it. Giving Kiram some power is really, really nice. And now I can I can always just spam... I can always just spam... Um, wide guard. Calyrex sash goes down. And now I don't even feel bad about breaking my own focus sash because they clicked fake out there. Um, so that's really good. Um, wide guard goes before fake out. Good to know. That's really nice. Um, they go into the Kyogre, so now this is where we want to go for a max quake. 
into... This is where we want to max quake the Kyrim. I mean, not the Kyrim. We want to max quake with Kyrim. So we're going to go max quake here. Get a boost here. Um, I click wide guard again. I could protect. Honestly, I might protect. Because um, they might protect here. But we'll see. I wonder if I just die through protect. Either way, they stayed in. So I'm assuming the Calyrex is clicking protect here. Um... It doesn't seem smart to just click Astro Raj again when you saw a wide yard. Protect makes a lot of sense. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Either way, big Kyogre here. Now, does Stone Turner die through Protect? I would honestly not be shocked in any way, shape, or form. If, if that's the play, yeah, they do Protect. Um, the thing is, yeah, we're going to see if I live through Protect. It was worth the gamble, right? Um, oh, it failed. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Because it's basically like double protecting. It's kind of a weird thing, but it's fine. Um, now I should, if I brought Whimsicott, I can go into it now. If I don't have Whimsicott, then that's unlucky. Um, I probably go for a Max Dragon 2 on the next attack if I do have, what's it called? They do go for Max Geyser here. They wasted an entire Dynamax turn to kill Stone Drurner, so I'm happy about that. If I got the Protect off, that would have been legit. But the way Wide Guard and Protect work is really weird. I always forget to. Um, yeah, but I do have the Whimsicott here. I can't really go into Calyrex now, um, but if they save Calyrex and I have Tailwind, I'm really happy about it. And I don't care, I don't think I care too much about Whimsicott getting knocked out as well. So we're gonna go for, not a Max Quake, but a Max Dragon. Let me just make sure that's okay. They don't have a Fairy type in the back, because I killed it. Max Dragon should kill anything that comes in, and now we just click a nice Tailwind here um, to get faster than the Calyrex. Calyrex just protected. Um, so we have a pretty much a free attack into here. Now if they have Rillaboom or Incin, we're getting a very fat Max Dragon into there. Um, if it's Rillaboom, they're really happy to switch that in because they just saw Max Quake. Um, but we'll see what they decide to do here. The problem is going to be this Kyogre. It's going to be the biggest problem. Uh, and the answer is Incineroar. So they did just see the Quake. Maybe they're hoping... Oh, maybe they have Shuckaberry so that they were okay with this play. Um, but if I can actually just get the KO right here, right now, then we're in a big position. I would, I would assume this actually does KO. Um, so here comes the Max Dragon. Yeah, a KO here is very good to our success for winning, and they live at freaking one, man. This game is unbelievable. Um, makes the game a lot harder, no matter how you shake it. They actually have a berry, so Max Quake would have just killed them. So I can't tell you why that... Ah, uh, whatever. They do go for Max Hailstorm. Um, uh, that guarantees me the game. I lose the game. Yeah. If I Max Quake there, I wonder if I live. Probably not, but yeah. No, I, I lose the game for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. Actually, I think I might not lose the game. So this needs to be an Astro Barrage range. Oh, they're leftovers. That's giga cringe. Um, but it actually might benefit me here. Now, if I go into Calyrex here and click Astro Barrage and kill the Ensign, that's really good. Now, if I max Quake, there's no way, there is no way that I should die. My Calyrex should die. So, oh, I can't max Quake. God dang it, dude. Uh, but I do have Freeze Dry. So let's click that. Uh, I'm going to click it. And hope for the best. Yeah. Alright, we need the KO here. And we also need my Calyrex to live. They don't have the rain. They actually go for Fake Out, but I don't think that's a good play. Um, I just need to live here, and I think we're fine. We do live. Oh, sorry, we don't live. We, we killed the Ensign. Uh, I don't think Fake Out was the right play, but um, it might help them. Okay, so there's that. Now, I need to live. They don't have the rain here. There's no way I should die here. Please. 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 I don't die. Okay, this is a chance. If I have two turns of Tailwind, I guaranteed win. If I have one turn of Tailwind, it comes down to everyone's favorite mechanic, a speed tie. So we'll see how that goes. But that was their last turn of Dynamax, which means that now I can freeze dry it. Um, again, if they have two turns of Protect, it's going to be really bad. But my Specs Calyrex now has a plus one boost. It's going to be doing the damage. Um, so there's their Calyrex. They don't have a Focus Ash. So whoever's Calyrex attacks, whoever's Calyrex attacks is going to win. Now I'm hoping there's two turns of Tailwind. I think there might be. If there's two turns of Tailwind, I very likely win this game. If there's one, I very likely lose, but we'll see. There's two turns of Tailwind. I'm feeling very confident about this. So now we go for a Freeze Dry, Astro Barrage. We are Specs Calyrex here. 
So I'm feeling good. Uh, Calyrex goes for Protect, number one. And I'm assuming Kyogre will also go for it. It doesn't! So they're giving away the Cali... They're giving away... The Kyogre here. Let's see if this just straight kills. Because I'm, I'm plus one and max. That's disgusting. Alright, I still can lose this on a double protect. But my Calyrex do be doing the damage. Uh, freeze Dry comes out. Obviously into the protect. Now how much health is my Kiram at? Because if Kiram... Kiram's actually at a lot. I actually might win this game no matter what. I will click Draco Meteor. I don't need to click it this turn, however. So I just click Astral Barrage while I have the Tailwind. And if um, if they get the Double Protect, which they do, I have to go for Draco Meteor now and live. Um, assuming they win the Speed Tie. So even if they win the Speed Tie, I have a chance if my Kyurem just lives the hit. Which they are probably Focus Sash because they have Protect, but it doesn't guarantee anything. So now we have to win the Speed Tie, but I go for Draco Meteor just in case I lose the Speed Tie here. And we click Astral Barrage, it's our only move and Specs. Um, but I do win the speed tie, so I am the winner. But I might have won the game regardless, but that was a good game. Stone Journer, very clutch there. Just one turn of being really annoying, giving me the power to one-shot a Grimmsnarl through um, a neutral hit is really, really big deal. Um, yeah, there's a dub. Good job, Stone Journer. Stone Journey. Yeah. All right, on to the next. All right, opponent has been found against... 1466. They've got an uh, intense sun team here. I do like the idea a lot of Kiram White going absolutely bananas in this matchup. Uh, so we'll probably leave with that and then go from there. We do have Max Quake, which is nice. Um, I have some ideas that could work. We'll bring the Calyrex for sure. Now, who is our Pokemon here? We could go Storm Journer, which doesn't do terribly. Uh, it does give us also those boosts that might be really, really nice. I don't think Dragovish or Urshavu will be that good because of the rain. Of course I can make it hail, but we'll go Stone Journer just because uh, he's the star of the video. Maybe. Stone Journer or Dragovish. Whoever wins the thumbnail. You guys already know. I don't know. I'm not in the future. Anyway, I'll see you guys when our opponent um, clicks his moves. Clicks his Pokemon. Okay! They have orange pants and the red suit. I don't like it, but that's okay. They go Whimsicalization. I literally know what I'm doing for this exact turn. Pretty easy stuff here. So what we're going to do is we're going to protect and click Tailwind, and then hopefully we can catch him off guard with a Cotton Spore. But we'll see how that works for us. So let's go for a Protect, and we will go for a Tailwind here. Now, the good thing is if they want to go for a Taunt, I do have the Mental Herb here because I didn't have any other items stashed away. Well, I didn't even know what other items I would, would, <laughs> item I would have done, but this is good. We'll see how that goes. Another good thing that could Whimsicott could do is if they protect... Actually, they probably wouldn't protect them this turn, but we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, if we can Cotton Spore, we'll be in a really good position. The only problem is Whimsicott is kind of annoying for my Restricted Pokemon, but we do go for that Protect here. Keep it nice and easy, even though we're playing HO. Um, they go over the taunt because they're very bad at Pokemon. Unfortunately, they win the speed tie. Unfortunate for them that even though they're bad at Pokemon, they get outplayed here, and I have the mental herb. So unlucky to them that they're hoping they get a 50% chance to win the game. Literally, think about okay, let's think about this. 50%. Say I clicked Tailwind and Max Quaked. I win Tailwind, you will go for Taunt, you lose. Congratulations. Um, but, yeah, now we can click Max Quake, and we can click a Cotton Spore here, um, and see if we can catch them off guard. Considering they clicked Taunt turn 1, I'm pretty sure they will fall for this, but we'll see um, how this goes. Um, so there I am. The only thing is, a bunch of Moon Blasts would be annoying, but we'll see how that goes. Now, they can Taunt me again because I'm actually faster than them here. So, we got that going for us. My Prankster is currently faster than theirs, so we'll see what they go for. Um, yep, my Cotton Spore going first, as expected. They didn't protect because they didn't see it coming, as they're a Whimsicott who clicks Taunt turn 1, which is bad. Um, now, they go for a Tailwind, but again, I just went for the Cotton Spore, so it's not gonna help them too much here. Now we get to go for a Max Quake and actually boost our Spideff here. And, do we one-shot? The answer is, hey yes! So down goes the Zacian, the biggest threat 
to anyone's team, especially considering the only Pokemon they have left are Sun Pokemon. Um, so we got that going for us, and I can keep click spamming Cotton Spore if I so desire on my, uh, if they bring in a max Airstream user. If they bring in Groudon, I can just Hailstorm. Um, but yeah, we got, we're doing pretty well here. I also have Helping Hand, which is really, really nice. If Charizard comes in, I click Cotton Spore. If Groudon comes in, I click Hailstorm. It is the Groudon, so I'm just going to click Hailstorm, probably. Um, the one issue I'm afraid of is if they switch an Incineroar here. Incin's kind of annoying. I can also max Dragon. It's not that big a deal. Um, helping him max Dragon would be nice. Honestly, because I think that gives me the best chance to live. So I think I'm going to go for it. So max Dragon here. This covers for the Incin switching. And we will go for a Helping Hand here. Yeah, this covers for the instant switch in. It also makes it so I can probably live in attack. They do go for the play here, so my dragon play is going to end up being perfect here. Because they do go into the instant or They try to make a play. Um, I'm getting called. Great. They're, the spam call is back. Um, there's the helping hand. We'll see what their Whimsicott decides to do. They can Moonblast me for some pain. They actually do go for a Taunt here, which is... An now it's annoying, because now I can no longer Cotton Spore. However, I no longer need to. Um, unfortunately, my opponent doesn't really understand that. But here comes the Helping Hand Max Dragon. Incin goes down. And now we can click Max Hailstorm to our heart's delight. Um, so that's great. And guess what? I actually have a very awesome play here. I hope they don't forfeit. I want to Max Hailstorm the... Uh, I want to max Hailstorm the Groudon, but I want to switch into Stone Journer and get the power boost here. We'll see if we can get that accomplished. Um, so I'm going to try max Hailstorm here, um, and we're going to go into the Stone Journer. Um, Whimsicott can come out and get rid of its taunt. The battle is canceled though, so we don't get to see Stone Stone Journey in its magical journey of boosting my power, but it's okay. Um, hopefully we can get it in in another game, but yeah, that one was nice. Alright, on to the next. All right, a trainer has been found. Rank 2001. And they've got a very, very interesting team. Um, so what problem is, I got these double water Pokemon, so I basically can't even use them. <laughs> um, okay, this makes things definitely annoying. We need to get rid of Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is going to be a problem, no matter what, though. Problem is, can I use any of these guys? I would love to use you, but I don't think I can. I can go for like CC, I just don't know how much it's going to help. Like I would love to click Surging Strikes, really. Uh, this is kind of annoying. Gastron is the annoying one here. Um, Kiram's also giga good though. Now if I can go with a strong physical attacker and Calyrex, maybe that's the way to go. So if I go like Calyrex and then like Urshifu, that might be really good because then they can't prepare for both? Um. The problem is, if they lead something scary like a Charizard, that would be very bad. But I can always go Kiram and then Whimsicott, too. Now, I would like to go Stone Journer. I don't think it's going to be great for us here, so we'll keep it away. Can't use Dracovish because that's really telegraphed of what the Urshabu's going to do. Or the what the Gastrodon should be doing. I don't even know if they're going to bring Gastrodon. But we're going to force their hand and see, and see what they go for. Uh, but if I can kill Grimmsnarl, I'll be happy. We'll see how this goes for us. The answer is Grimmsnarl Cortana. I'm okay with that. Not really, actually. It's actually kind of bad, because... Yeah. Because they can just grass me. However, Astral Barrage is going to do the damage. So what I'm going to try to do here is Astral Barrage, and I'm actually going to make a really risky switch and go into uh, Whimsicott here. Um, so if they go for a grass move, now if they go for max airstream, then I probably lose the game. Uh, but we'll see. Kartana is actually really annoying for my team. It beats all my water types. Um, Kart, God, yeah, this would be annoying. If it airstreams here, I'm, I'm SOL. Now, maybe they think I've got focus sash, so that would be good. Um, but I'm hoping it goes for a grass move and my Whimsicott can obviously live it. Um, so we'll see how that plays out, but yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't feel good about this. This is the thing about HO. You... Yeah. Sometimes your team can just not have a good matchup. And, yeah, Grimstar was a bad matchup for any HO team. 
Which is probably why it doesn't do super hot in these tournaments, because everyone's got the snarl. They actually go for a light screen. The good thing is they didn't Dynamax, so it's likely they didn't go for a max airstream. Actually, they didn't go for an airstream. They could go for an aerial ace, it's just not nearly as strong enough to kill, kill something. This might do a lot of damage, too. That's a lot of damage, but it's actually the Focus Sash variant on the Kartana. Now, if it has Night Slash, that's annoying, but it actually goes for Leaf Blade on my Calyrex, which we live quite comfortably, I should say. I'm going to go for Astral Barge again. Um, I would love to go for Moonblast here, personally. Um, Thunder Wave could be annoying, so I think I'm actually going to go for a Tailwind on this particular turn. Um, just in case they do go for Thunder Wave. They actually protect the Grimmsnarl. That's actually a really good play for them. Uh, but I'm okay, I think. Yeah, I think I'm okay. We'll see what, the, what what ends up happening here. We do get another Astro Barrage off, which is fine. But we're on the Grimmy. And uh, now we got the speed going. So we get to hit this thing pretty hard. It is still a 2 hit KO through Light Screen and not very effective. They do have the Foul Play, good to know. They don't have Spirit Break. So that makes me a lot happier. Because um, now I can go into Kyurem, and it threat they, they pose no threat, essentially. Um, so that's awesome. I could also go to Urshifu here and put in a lot of work, but I'm really afraid of uh, Sun. So yeah. But that's going to be really good if they do go for something like a Reflect. They might not. We'll see. Um, now, I, d I don't even have the faith that I can kill this thing. So I'm just going to Hailstorm it here um, and Moon Blast. Here. Now I do have Helping Hand, but I do need to get rid of the Kartana, so I'm going to Moonblast over in the Kartana slot and Max Hailstorm here. And if we get a double kill, we're actually in a really... We're actually in a pretty good position, I would say. Because we'll have Speed Control, and I have Helping Hand to blast the Groudon, which is really nice. We're actually in the Heavy Ball. Isn't that kind of funny? I feel like it's kind of funny. Man, it's raining. I, I, I bet you guys can't hear it, but it do be raining outside. It's nice, though. I needed my, my lawn to get watered, so this is good. I'm hoping Kyurem can do 50% to a Grim Snarl. I'm pretty sure it can. Light screen's not that broken. Um, they do go for Scary Face. Again, it doesn't matter since I went for the Tailwind, and I do have the Cotton Spore, so it's something good to keep in mind. Um, I, 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 it just means I have to probably click it. We do get the Moonblast over there onto one Kartana, which is good. It doesn't get a free hit off on me. And now we get to go for the Hailstorm. Now, what I need to do is keep up the Kail. If I can keep up the hail, then my um, <clears throat> my Urshifu in the back is going to be disgusting. So now, if I can just click Cotton Spore one time, I'm in the clear because they just lost both Pokemon. It's really bad to lose both Pokemon. And they didn't go for a Light Screen or a Reflect. Actually, it doesn't matter because Urshifu would yeet punch through that anyway. Now, they could have Gastrodon, which would make me automatically lose the game. So hopefully they don't have Gastrodon. Um, Groudon? What, Charizard? Perfect. Okay, this is absolutely perfect. Especially if they Dynamax the Charizard here. Because, um... I'm gonna click Cotton Spore here. And as long as I change the weather, I should win this one. Um, so yeah, let's go for this. Cotton Spore and a Max Hailstorm. They think their Charizard's faster because they they think they're good at the game by clicking Prankster moves. But I'm even better at the game because I can click the same Prankster moves. Nerd. Um, so here we go. They do Dynamax the Charizard, you can tell because it's in a Pokeball, which starter Pokemon have to be in a Pokeball, or unless, unless it's cheated. Fun fact, but there is the Gigantamax Charizard, which my Urshifu water can absolutely destroy in the hail, as long as the sun is gone, and once I click Max Hailstorm here, it's over. Um, and if I can kill the Groudon, it's, a, it's bonus points. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So there goes the speed of both of them. He probably thought he was slick. Here comes the Max Hailstorm. And it, this is probably not going to kill. Almost kills. That's good. And that's, that's Whimsicott Moonblast range, which would give me the game. As long as uh, I don't lose both Pokemon here, I think I win. Um, but let's see. They probably go for a Wildfire, which is no longer in the sun. So this actually, I probably live this. But Groudon obviously gets to attack. Yeah, I get to live. It did like 5%. That's hilarious. All right. And now we see a Fire Punch, which does take out the Whimsicott. However, I believe this game is mine. Because now, <clears throat> yeah, I think I got it. That thing is dead. Yes, Wildfire hurts. But now we go into Banded Urshifu, and they don't have the Gastrodon here. 
So my water Pokemon do get to shine. Now Dragovish would have been nice too. Now I'm <laughs> really banking on the fact that Urshabu can actually take the knockout here. But I'm pretty confident that it can, so we'll see how that goes. Now they could max guard. We'll see. I'm pretty sure this will kill. This is choice banned. And Charizard is not the bulkiest guy out there. However, their Charizard did no damage, so it could be bulky. We'll see. So Surging Strikes comes out. Yeah, that thing's dead. That thing's dead as doorknobs. That thing is doorknob dead. <clears throat> and then we get to Max Hailstorm, and the game is over. Perfectly mapped out by me. So that was awesome. The turn one switch into the car uh, into the Whimsicott was nice. Look at that. I play eight. Okay, so this is how HO plays. If you have to make a switch, you've probably lost. Yet somehow I'm able to play HO in a way where I make a defensive switch that wins me the game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Down that goober goes. <clears throat> and yeah, that's that. A dub. A hot dub. A hot dub. Anyway. That is the end of that game. I think I will do another. Alright, trainer's been found. I'm all the way up to 486, baby. Rank 448. Very close one. And we now have another Sun Team. So my friend, Kiram. Come. Come and have some fun in the sun. So I can go Kiram for sure. Now... What do I lead with the Kiram? The problem is, um, Venusaur would be very, very problematic by spamming sleep. So I could, I could go with something like a Calyrex here, and if they do try to sleep spam me, at least I've got both my Pokemon attacking, which is good. Now I can go with Whimsicott in the back as well, obviously to get that Tailwind. Calyrex makes it so the Lunala is going to have a tough time getting its ability up. Now, I do need one more Pokemon. It can be that Stone Journey. I can switch it in for some big old damage, which is nice. So we'll keep that in mind. I don't think I want a Water Pokemon against the Sun Team again, so we'll try this. All right, so they picked their Pokemon. This could go disastrously wrong. It really depends how toxic they want to be with Venusaur. Um, the good thing is I don't have the Dynamax. The problem is I if Kiram doesn't Dynamax, I really don't have a Dynamax Pokemon. So, <laughs> um, we'll see how this goes for us. Um, yeah. Alright, so they go with two Pokemon of language that I can't read. They actually go with the Lunala and the... Okay, so they can switch in the Sun here, obviously, which is problematic. However, they can only sleep one of us, so that's good. And if they sleep one of us, they're not getting up Trick Room. Um, so that's really good. So what I can do here is not Dynamax, However, I can just go for a Freeze Dry and a Specs Astral Barrage. So we'll go for that and see what it gets us. Um, the good thing is I don't have to rely on a Blizzard here because I only have Freeze Dry. So I'm okay with just doubling the um, the Venusaur here. Um, so we'll see what happens here. They Hard Swatch. So this is going to be the Groudon. The good thing is I'm getting a Freeze Dry or an Astral Barrage. They cannot stop both. It is mathematically impossible. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, we'll see what they go for here. I'd imagine they want to go for the Ice-type Pokemon, and they do, which means a Specs Astro Barrage is coming their way, and if they don't have a Focus Sash item, they might lose this one. Um, so we'll see. Now we go for the Astro Barrage here, and we do get lots of damage. The Venusaur lives quite comfortably, unfortunately. Um, Groudon has Leftovers, which is fine. So now I'm about to outplay them. First of all, I'm going to Dynamax no matter what. Um, we Dynamax no matter what, yeah. We can Hailstorm here, too. We hail we Dynamax here because it's my only Dynamax option. And now we actually go into Whimsicott here. We go into Whimsicott here because, um, it, one, it resists ground, two, it can't be put to sleep, and three, it'll give us the speed control even through the, um, the weather, which is really, really nice. So now we Dynamax, um, get the Hail up, which is really good. Um, the only thing is they might have the ability to get rid of Trick Room, but we'll see. Um, but we do Dynamax here. Again, we have we have no other Dynamax options, and we need to double our health to live hits. So we can Dynamax here. We can actually wake up here, too. It's unlikely, but we'll see. Um, yeah, they go for another Sleep Powder. Like I said, it doesn't affect Whimsicott. Kiram is asleep, so we're at two turns of sleep now. We can wake up next turn. They do go for Precipice Blades here. It does do a lot of damage. They could Dynamax here, and it'd be really annoying, but it's okay at the moment. And the good thing is, I... Don't have to. I can just keep going for the Groudon here, which is really nice. And now I'm just going to go for a Tailwind here, which will make Calyrex's life ten times easier. 
Um, I just need to kill this Groudon, and I think I win. But of course, they still might have Incin, which is a problem. So we'll keep that in mind. Um, but yeah. We'll keep that in mind. I don't think I... What's my... Stone Turner? Yeah, it's not going to be a good Pokemon for killing them. I do have Body Press, which is really, really nice. Um, but we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah. We'll see. Um, they withdraw the Venusaur. That's really good for us, because I did not target that slot. And they do go into the Incin. This is nice. Now, if I can just get my... I just need to kill that Incin, and then we're really golden here. Then Calyrex just wins. Um, hopefully we can wake up here. They Dynamax. So they really risked the entire game on a three-turn sleep. Wow. I guess they could max guard, technically. Uh, but that is giga risky. That is giga risky. If this... If I just wake up and kill them, they lose. They are going to be the loser of this game. So let's see how this goes for them. Now, they could go and do Lunala after this, and that would be problematic, but I think I can kill Lunala. Um, Tailwind comes out. Yeah, Lunala would be problematic, actually. Kiram does wake up, so I do get the KO here. Now, they can go and do Lunala and still be very annoying, because they actually do have the fake-out pressure here, which is kind of a problem for us. Um, this is definitely a problem. Um, the hail is actually annoying, too, because it... My Stone Journer is now a little bit worse. Um, we gotta think about it. Because it is very likely... It is very likely Lunala comes in here and creates a lot of problems for me. Very... Yeah, this is not good. Um, they also have the Meteor Beam too. But they likely want to go for Trick Room here, I'd imagine. That is the thing. Now I can Quake and get some Spideff. Now who would be the best at Spideff? Stone Journer? I don't know. I really don't want Trick Room to go up. Does my ability go through theirs? I just don't know. I don't know how it works, honestly. Turbo Blaze. Moves can be used on the target regardless of its ability. I think that means their ability still works. I could be wrong. I don't know if it's the best to break the Shadow Shield here. I'm gonna kill the... I'm gonna go for Max Quake. We're gonna try this. Uh, just to get the boost. Yeah, because they have to go for Trick Room here. They can't go for a Meteor Beam. They do go for the Fake Out. Oh my god, Fake Out did 50%. Alright, we do get the Helping Hand Max Quake. Do they have Shuckaberry though? Shuckaberry Finn. They don't. Okay, so that's dead, and I do get a plus one boost, which is nice. Now the problem is, can I actually stall out their their trick room? Probably not, right? So that's bad. Yeah, they go for trick room. Okay, so they got the Venusaur. This is the problem. <laughs> oh god. Alright, we are plus one. Do we have a Dynamax turn? I think we've got one, right? We've got to have one. Now they could sleep me, which is a problem. They could asleep on me. Venusu comes comes in. It has like no health, and the hail is gonna kill it eventually. I don't. So I, I click protect here a hundred out of a hundred times, right? I click protect. I think what we do also is we're gonna try to get rid of the Lunala. I think because the Venusaur is gonna die after two turns of hail, right? I don't know. Maybe I kill it. I think I kill it to make sure they only have one Pokemon. We'll try. Kieran protects. They have to go for Meteor Beam there. They're gonna Meteor Beam me. Ah, they have Sludge Bomb. God, the one Beanie in the entire galaxy that has Sludge Bomb. That's so lame. I didn't have Protect. I couldn't really do anything else. Uh, okay. So we got that going for us. Meteor Beam could have missed, but... We are plus one, too, though. Let's see how much the hail does to the Venu. Okay, it's actually gonna die. I think it's gonna die. I go Stone Journey here. Problem is, the hail's gonna hurt me. Um, I do have a Focus Sash here, so I can actually get my attack off. Question is, am I slower than the Venusaur? I don't know. That's the problem. But I guess I get to live no matter what. I might just double protect here. 
and Rock Slide. This might be really bad, though. We're gonna try it. If I lose both, I lose for sure. I don't get the Double Protect. God dang it. They do go for Leaf Storm. They actually miss, so that's good. They go for a Moon Geist Beam. Uh, I think we lose. Unless Hiram lives. I live, that's huge. Okay, so we get the Rock Slide here. We've now... This is actually... Ooh. Um, now we can click Double Protect here, right? So you take Hail. I take Hail. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Tail one's gone. Oh yeah, that's why I was slower than the thing. The, the Mist may have saved me. There's two turns of Trick Room, so if I Protect and Protect, I win. So let's go for that. Now I don't have to click Y Guard. Yeah, I just click, click Protect and Protect and I should win. 100 out of 100 times. Okay. Good job, Rocky boy! Let's see who they actually went for here. So the Fail Protect actually might have helped me, because they couldn't kill my Kyurem anyway, because I got the plus one boost. They went for the Stone Journer on a Reed. Hail stopped. Shouldn't matter. Because now I just click Freeze Dry. Freeze Dry and Rock Slide. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Oh, come on. You don't even want to play it out. Come on. That's so lame. Alright, well, dubs! Dubs all around! I gotta use this team again, this is, this is fun. Maybe we'll, we'll get Drake Mission in some games. Stone Turner went ham, though. Alright, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, all the buttons, and we will be back with more Pokemon content, so yeah. Anyway, we're out here.